Coronavirus Separate today, I am officially right. declaring a national emergency. Also tracking the unprecedented global Before effort me. to find medicines that could work on COVID-19. Schools in America are closing. My kids have been Checks out of school for you. already for the a staggering week. rise in unemployment. People out of work lining up for free meals. What was it like going completely 180 degrees a different direction on uh, how we do ministry? I know, at least for me, you know, I was a little hesitant at first of like, all right, well, personally, my favorite parts are like getting to see people, hanging out with people, you know, like playing games, having fun. And everybody jumped on Zoom and we all just made things work first. No youth is happening on Sunday nights across any campuses and like, we gotta figure out like what we're gonna do. And so I remember like that initial weekend, we like just didn't have services and we we're like, okay. And then like the next week, we were just like, all right, we gotta figure something out. It was exhausting for me, honestly. And there were moments of grieving um, things that we were hopeful for. No, none of us wanted to let our students down. Right. Yeah. Or, or not, not give our max effort mm. to do an incredible job. Yeah. How, whatever that was gonna look like. By the end of May, like all of us were just exhausted. This, is, this isn't working out. And so then in June, we decided to do house parties. Remember yep. those? Oh, and yeah. like, those were, those were kind of crazy. We did them outdoors mm -hmm. and it was just like, this is unsustainable. Like we were outside, we were taking stuff from the church to houses, mm -hmm. two different houses, yeah. speaking two different messages. Like it was just, it was fun, but it was like, this isn't the long-term uh, solution. But I remember like sitting down with literally at, like everyone on the team in the same room. And it was this kind of conversation of what are we gonna do this semester? I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say we went for three hours. I remember feeling emotional because it's like realizing what we really, could not do that semester. But then there was also this sense of hope because we left it with a plan. We were all on the same page in that up to that point, it was kind of a question of if we can meet. And I like that all of our mindsets was like, it's not if we can meet, it's how can we meet? Like we're going to make this happen. Yeah, those are all your picture friends. Yeah, those picture friends. I'm just your friendly neighborhood guy on the ladder. Jen, what are you working on? Um, the video shoot, the new logo. You know, I've never been in a YouTube studio, so I'm actually pumped. <laughs> So excited you guys are with us today. How you feeling? Feeling good, first recording, live. We came up with this plan where we said, we've always said circles are better than rows. And so I think it was God saying, time to put your money where your mouth is. So we went all in with life groups, but there was also the question of how do we produce content for almost a hundred different life groups in tons of different cities? How do we keep everyone on the same page and not turn into a hundred different mini youth groups? We needed something that wasn't gonna get stopped for our students because we couldn't go back to doing Zoom calls and we couldn't go back to doing Instagram Live because we knew it wasn't gonna work the right way. The plan started to come in place and you know we had started the YouTube channel um, in January of last year of 2020 and uh, just started dreaming about like, okay, how could we leverage that platform that we've already used? How could we just go all in? God is constant. Even when the world feels like too much, God in his goodness, reaches down. When the wind is raging, when the waves are crashing over your head, God reaches down to save you. So it started out like a bunch of us just getting into the podcast studio and like spending an entire day filming stuff. And yeah. that was fun, but those were also like, some of them were train wrecks, some of them were disasters, some of them, like we were miserable when we left. There, there are uh, things we filmed that never saw the light of day. Right, that's true. <laughs> but this was a way that, you know, you can actually say, hey, this is your life group, this is what you guys are doing, and this is something you can rely on. It was a totally different approach to student ministry. I had to take a little bit uh, of a behind the scenes approach. That was probably one of mine. I was like, man, I love being able to see my students. I love being there for them. When we launched it, we knew that we needed incredible adult leaders mm -hmm. for our students. 
our adult leaders stepped up and oh, killed it all year long. Time. They were the consistent piece all year long for our students. In like, yeah. there were school systems that were open, then closed, then online, mm -hmm. then yeah. this and that, and like in a world of chaos, they were the consistency for their group of students. Yeah. And so like, we couldn't have done any of this without them. What was your favorite YouTube service moment? How about the hot topics? I was saved. Always popular. I was saved by the Lord, and I didn't have to do with that. Rest in peace, Scott. What if I for real die? Have we thought about this? What if I for real die? It's got to be Rod's hot topic video. I don't care what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll be honest. And that was probably my biggest regret over pandemic was participating in a hot topic video. <laughs> this is way worse than this Mason is, and Micah. This is Caleb and Ken. Those guys. Give me the mail. Honestly, I love the filming days. I think we really came closer as a team, all, everyone on staff from all the different campuses. And I think sometimes for our students, it's kind of hard to see like, we really are Northeast students all across all these different campuses. One of my favorite moments, uh, this is because I'm such a selfish person, was when we did Puppy Week. Puppy week. Puppy week, oh, puppy, puppy week was good. Puppy week was good. We are. We were the least productive that day. Oh, a hundred percent. Because people were even calling their kids like, "You got to come to the church." And these puppies. Like <laughs> yes. it was crazy. Does uh, does the future of online ministry include more dad videos that Aaron makes? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite parts of uh, of. Uh, you got a lot of good. Being able to just really lean into that side of me that people haven't seen. Hey kids, I was thinking, since we're having church at home, does that make me the pastor? <laughs> well, I do get mistaken for a priest quite often. Everyone around here calls me father. <laughs> I think for me it was the, the Christmas send off, like the SNL Ooh. cast off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because for me it was so was sentimental. Good. Like it was like we were all in the room. We had all just got done filming. We filmed Christmas in October, and we yeah. were all just like, it's not even Halloween yet. This yeah. is so weird. Is so but I just remember like finishing that last filming and just all of us just like exhaling and being like, we just did a full semester of online ministry, yeah. and we did it, and we're together. In two months. In two months, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we pulled it yeah. all together yeah. so quickly. Yeah. And that was just kind of like the icing on the cake for me. You know, Ryan Olson, just anything Ryan anything Olson, just Ryan in general. <laughs> It burns! I can't get out of my <laughs> The In My Head series was mm. just so powerful and our, our, again, our video department just crushed it. See, the reality is, we're in a battle. But the war is already won. And God is saying, come here, fight by my side. The victory is yours. How would your life look different if you really believed that? Don't give up, dig in. Nathan putting on a blindfold and letting Scott throw darts at him. <laughs> how, how, These are how, sharp, man. You should really be careful. How good there. are you at darts? Uh, I'm horrible. Oh, that was right on the edge. <laughs> Just stay away from. Try it again. Stay away it, from it the jugular. That poorly nope. again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. Way to go, Michael. Cause see, that was so close, dude. Yeah. Oh my, yeah, that I felt so it. Close. That was I felt it. it. Literally an inch lower and it's over. That an inch lower and it's over. The scrolling list of our adult life group leaders yes, at the end. That was so cool. And it just keep going oh and going gosh. and going. The rate yourself one to 10 on that last worship yeah. set. <laughs> I thought you might just rate yeah. myself in general. <laughs> God showed up in that in the midst of this new online ministry, this new avenue yeah. um, to reach students. God has chosen you to share his story, and he will never leave you on your own. And so we have gotten to see God move through our YouTube channel, through social media, through a variety of different avenues that we would not have had had this not happened. That's the silver linings we had. Uh, students, middle school and high school students that said, uh, you know what, I want to get to know God more. Yeah. And I I, I, I want what he's offering me mm. and I want the hope yeah. that Jesus gives in a, in a very hopeless world. And so that was the coolest part is just hearing the conversations that leaders are having with their students about their faith, mm. seeing posts and comments about what they're learning from scripture. Mm. Like 
th those are the wins in, in all this, right? It's just fun to be able to be a part of seeing that kind of move and seeing God move in a way that I'd never actually seen happen before, so. It's been humbling for me, obviously, just because uh, it, I've had probably the least amount of exposure to my students in this season. And my leaders get to be the heroes. They get to hear the stories. They get to be the person communicating with them. And they know the, the students better than I do, like in this season. I'm like, man, but how cool of a win that they got to do that. Um, I think God has worked in so many incredible ways, and I'm so excited for the future of Northview Student Ministry. We're gonna keep loving our community locally here well um, in the room, but also in circles and online, we're gonna keep doing whatever it takes, anything short of sin to reach students for the gospel of Jesus, so. How fun was that? So much fun. Northview students, it's been such an honor serving you and serving alongside of you this past year. Through Take Heart, hopefully you saw how much we love you and we care about you guys. That's right. And hey, Northview Students Online is taking a little bit of a break, but don't worry, we'll still be back with fresh, relevant content that'll make you laugh and inspire you on the daily. Don't miss it. So from our family to yours, we love you, we care about you, and the best is yet to come. We'll see ya.